Hello, hello everybody, and thank you for checking out the Booth Talk channel. Guys, I am Jeremy, I'm your host here, and in today's video, what we're gonna show you is how to do the never-ending line, as well as how to weave it up and over itself. It's a very simple technique, it's very awesome, and something you can really build off of. Hang tight, we're gonna get right to it. All right, guys, now what we've got here is a demo hood. This is the same style hood that we had in the last video, based out with the Eastwood Candies. This is their really coarse silver that they've got. It mixes four to one. Uh, that's the part number for you right there. And after that, I put an intercoat clear over the top of it. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show how to do the never-ending line. Basically make it all twirl around and whatnot. But then after that, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you how to actually weave it, how to make it look like the line is going over and under. A lot of people love just, just having the, the line as it is and then painting over it. To me, it always looks incomplete. So we're gonna show how to weave it after the fact. Now what we've got here, guys, this is my tape thing. I always, I always tend to load a, a couple things of fine line as well as uh, another size. You can get these an inch and a half, two inch, uh, and three quarter. He's also got them specifically for individual fine lines, but you get a bigger one, you can load everything on. Uh, tape thing from collisionedge.com. Give them a shout, keep your tape clean, keep your tape happy. Alright guys, now on this, it's just a quick little layout that I did. For you guys who have been doing this, I understand. My lines aren't perfect, the curves are different. Bear with me, this is showing how to do something, so <laughs> don't murder me in the comments, guys. Alright, so what we're doing is I'm going to show just basically how to do this. Now we've got all this laid out with this is FBS Fine Line that I was using. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a contrasting color. Uh, in this case, we're going to take the Sada 1500 with a little bit of purple that, uh, that I've got made up just from some spare colors that I had. And we're basically going to follow the tape. We're going to shadow straight directly on top of it. And then that's going to give us our design. Now, after that, we're going to come back. We're going to untape all of that. And you'll see what I mean by the never-ending line. It just keeps weaving around and whatnot. But then we're going to go and we're going to show how to make it look like it's going up and over, up and over. Every single one of these intersections, give it a little bit different look. So you can do this on bigger panels, however intricate you want to do. This is just the basics. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's just uh, shadow it in. Go back over that one more time just to uh, give it a little bit uh, deeper look just for the camera just so it'll really stand out for you guys.
So what you guys see here now is that you can see as the actual effect is given, you know, you, it's, it's basically a never ending line. A lot of people do it and they'll run them all over the hood and whatnot and they'll make these awesome graphics and designs. And that is basically the premise of what I'm doing here. I just wanted to show you the basics of how to do this. Now, some people will call this complete. Me personally, it's not complete. What we're going to do is we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how to trace this line and make it go over that line, under that line over that one, under, over, all that. We're gonna let this dry out and then we're gonna go ahead and get to it. The way you wanna do this is actually very, very simple. Tear you off some fine line and that's all you're gonna need. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start. We're gonna pick a starting point. So I tell you what, let's start with this line here. We're gonna trace it up and we're gonna come over here. This line right here, I want it to go over the intersecting line. So to make it go over the intersecting line, what we've gotta do is lay the tape across it and shadow going this way. It all depends on which way the tape is and which way you shadow. As I do it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's go, we're gonna start right here. We want this line here to come over. It looks like it's jumping that one. So we're gonna lay the fine line right back on top. Right there. That's all we're gonna do. Then we're gonna take our, then we're gonna take our purple Pull that straight. Now we're gonna take our purple, extremely low pressure, keep it at a point, fluid dialed in, and all we're gonna do is just shadow directly right on top of that. That's it. Now, when we pull that, now you see a slight shadow right there, correct? On top and bottom, looks like it's going over that. Well, we went over that, now we wanted to go under this line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tape and lay it back the other way. So now we went over this one, we're gonna go under this one. So now we want a shadow going up and down on this. Now, whenever I do this, I don't personally go through and just darken it up like everything else. I like to give it just a slight shadow so it's a little bit lighter than everything. So, when you pull the tape, now it looks like it goes over and it looks like it goes under. Now, we're going to continue this all the way around and then we're just going to keep on going. Right, guys so what I want to do is show you this now just complete it so as you can see the line goes over and under itself all the way around and just by doing just a little bit of taping and just a little bit of shadowing it creates a very awesome effect so guys I hope this helped you out if it did give me a give this video a thumbs up give the uh, give the channel a subscription I really would appreciate it hit the subscribe button hit the bell I'm trying to put videos out every two weeks just stuff to help you out I've got stuff coming up for product reviews I've got stuff for coming up for in the booth as well as just the differences ground level stuff talking about primers epoxies polyesters high builds clears and we're going to do some more torture tests one of the things that I have a lot of requests for is more torture tests if you haven't seen the torture test video, scroll back in the uh, in the videos that I've got. Polyvance, it survived Tannerite. So guys, custom painting, this is the second video that we're doing. More is coming. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.